just a few seconds sir ha huh. okay we can start sir right right good afternoon warm welcome to all for final day that is sixth day session 2 of one week online faculty development program of optimization techniques for mechanical engineers organized by department of mechanical engineering vignan institute of technology and science deshmukhi near ramoji film city hyderabad it's my privilege to welcome today's afternoon session a resource person dr j kandaswami professor of mechanical engineering mvsr engineering college nadargul hyderabad in spite of busy schedule sir has accepted our invitation so thank you very much sir dr kandaswami sir sir we are very fortunate to have you for today's uh, final session that is concluding session so thank you very much sir i extend my hearty welcome to all enthusiastic participants for final day of session 2 of fdp now i request my colleague dr bal subramanyam singarvel to introduce today's resource person to all the enthusiastic participants now over to dr singarvel thank you sir thank you myself dr b singarvel associate professor vignan institute of technology and science hyderabad welcome to this one week fdp on optimization techniques for mechanical engineers online mode day 6 afternoon session that is session 2 resource person dr j kandaswami sir professor from mvsr engineering college department hyderabad sir has 18 years experience in teaching and research and sir completed his bachelor degree from university of madras and master degree from jntu hyderabad and a phd from sorry ma- master degree from usmania the university college of engineering jntu hyderabad and the phd also from jntu hyderabad sir has completed uh, worth of 28 lakhs research project from aecte ugc and iea funded projects and the supervisor recognized supervisor from usmania university hyderabad sir having publication and proceeding uh, over 70 numbers in that international journals 25 national journals 10 conferences 35 proceedings national as well as international and a membership from iea and iste and institution of welding and a reviewer for institution of engineer journal d and various international conferences also and the research area and design of experiment optimization of process parameter metal joining plastic deformation and the modeling of manufacturing process thank you sir welcome we are one of resource person of this uh, one week fdp which is organized by our institute please take over sir fine sir thank you i hope i am audible to everyone good afternoon participants of course it is Uh, can you please unmute yourself yeah i am unmuted oh, right uh, it is naturally very difficult for the participants to listen and online teaching has become now a fashion and now it is being followed by many people so but anyhow i hope all my participants are alert and in synchronize with my screen so this is Taguchi techniques for industrial applications. I'm at the outset. I would like to thank Vignan Institute of Technology and Science Management, Dr. Leela Prasad, Dr. Chandrasekhar, Dr. B. Singaravel, and his team for providing an opportunity to share some of my known thoughts with this particular set of audience. it is optimization techniques for mechanical engineers it's not only for mechanical engineer anyone who want to conduct experiments such set of people can use this technique this is a very year old technique long back it was started and it came into limelight in 90s picked up in 20s early 20s and now it is for ug pg students it is a regular class work or else course work fine so with this i will start my presentation
yeah this will be my scheme of presentation you have an overview introduction what is taguchi loss function what is robust design orthogonal arrays analysis and two case studies a set of case studies i have but still we are going to project only two and then references and that's how i conclude so this is a traditional one and what i expect out of this lecture outcome because we without an outcome we are in outcome based education and we are forced to write or else we should know first what is the expected outcome in that way i would like to at the end of this lecture the set of participants will be able to improve the chance of conducting successful experiments and speed up the analysis reduce the cost associated with experimentation making sure the sample size is adequate to provide the needed detectable difference maybe look like english but still what is take away reduce the cost that is money vitamin m that's very important reduce the cost either in business or process or manufacturing or day to day life reduce the cost and next is improve the chance of conducting successful experiment and speed up the analysis you want to connect three things one is success another one is time another one is cost three ends of a triangle you try to optimize that's the out expected outcome of this lecture so if i say problems either in life or in uh, industry or in engineering or in education you have different types of problems and basically we classify as naturally these occurs natural problems some problems are accidental problems some problems are mysterious problems so we have different types of problems and every problem will have a solution at the end of the day we should find a solution or in itself we should have it should have a solution so if i say an end because we are discussing about engineering problems we have closed form solution f is equal to ma after a long set of uh, hard work by a set of people we will find closed form solution y equal to mx plus c f equal to ma e is equal to mc square such kind of closed form solution but what is the limitations of those particular set of forms you have it comes along with a set of assumption it is a theoretical approach and you get answer as 97.38472 decimals exact solutions we get but if it is you remove one by one assumption that goes near to practical life this particular closed form solution may not give the right answer or apt solution hence with time i have gone to numerical solution what least number of assumptions you have near practical approach but it gives approximate solution see all these are guessing you make a guess for what is happening in nature what will happen in nature it's extremely a perfect guess so we try to guess more near that's what you can't exactly predict you can't exactly predict the nature because nature in itself is unpredictable but approximate solutions so then if you have okay you have two kind of solutions which is a theoretical one exact one and a numerical solution least number of assumptions near practical approach with so you have the solution how will you validate whatever you do simulation whatever you do whatever you do with closed form solutions or max all this are on paper if i want to validate then comes experimentation if i have to experiment if i have to experiment anything either to starting a business business money for anything if i want to conduct a rocket launch i require money so what is required for experimentation is money men material method machine and most importantly time so if one you have you, you require money you require men you require material method machine 
and more importantly time so hence to conserve time get it right the first time if at all someone wants to make a tea after 10000 trials i am going to give you the right cup of tea to my customer do you think the business will flourish no so that's the reason get it right the first time course may not be possible but near to the right so to get it right the first time we have to conduct certain set of experiments why experiments to validate my closed to form solution numerical solution and to prove that i am right so that's why to for experimentation all are costly money men is costly material is costly method may be costly machine is costly and above all time which cannot be given back hence we go for optimization see the very best example god has made optimized is you can see these two hands two symmetry fingers you could see it is best optimized best optimized by god to do any sort of work so that's what one is very thick one is very thin one is very long another one is costly so another one is dangerous and you could see for making this as a robo tom by a human being we have to fight something like anything hence the best example i can say for god made is it is the hand it is the hand so optimization characterizes the activity involves to find the best that's what you can do the best or else the better finding an alternative with most cost effective and highest achievable performance under the given constraint by maximizing desired factors and minimizing the undesired ones that's what i say greed of a business magnet you want to reduce the loss and loss and loss zero loss zero investment and how i could make maximum profit one beautiful example in business may be ola cars without a single car this fellow keep on maximizing of course he has to invest minimum on softwares so there are different like zomato without a single hotel you have maximized the factors maximize the profit so that's what greed of any business magnet will be you want to minimize the undesired ones and maximize the profit that is the ultimate aim for that how we engineers work is what optimization you can use this method either in max computer science management if i want to run simulation so how one trial may take if you go to data science iic bangalore the super computer has to run for 15 days for one parallel programming 15 days if i block and like that i have to run for at least 100 trials think of the time in world hence for computer simulation also this method best suits so management science for everywhere is the selection of best element from some set of available alternatives so this is one optimize i would like to not to bore i would like to show you optimization of food normally you could see you have sweet you want sweet you want salt you want sour you want pungent bitter astringent everything you want and everything has comes with a set of limitations and advantages so that's why if you could see food was medicine and it was optimized by our seniors in good olden days you could see whether either it is north indian thali or a south indian food you could see the food is optimized with all set of likes so this is not food right hence so what is optimization say for example i have a system i have a product i have a process for this particular set of system i always have to give inputs lot of inputs is to be provided may be here one input 
and you have noise factor noise what is that with this you can control your input you can control your input here you can control but it comes into the system say for example the ongoing covid 19 pandemic is a noise factor into our life cycle system and you have input and you get response and you have design parameters so i would like to watch optimize these two so that i will get better response or to the max best response i can't say every time i will get best response and if you say i am getting the best response no it is wrong fine so it is a better response or else one best alternative for academicians those who do research my sincere suggestion or submission is you should first if it is and particularly it's going to deal with experimentation or simulation and you have more number of input factors to the system it is better you go with this particular tool called taguchi so that it helps a lot and the first particular chapter of your book in this window i have worked you can see determining that window is what taguchi method based design of experiments so i have input i have noise i want to control this i have input factors and here i have lot of input factors at various level but i want to get the best response normally we call it as a robust design what is robust what is robust if you vary the input also extremely very extreme variation of input also should give minimum variation in the output response then the design or then the system is known as robust design this is robust design you vary your input extremely but the output response of the system should vary very less or should not vary at all then the system is called robust system that's what i could say say for example first day a particular gentleman eats chinese second day he eats some local food third day he goes to a marriage fourth day only third race still his system is very there is no change in the man's health then the system is called as robust design that's what god has made many of his uh, creations are robust you vary the input extremely also the output response very very less or very minimal if human could do that then it is called as optimization or robust design say for example this is one of the best entertaining part of this lecture if life is the system say for example i told you we have a system we have a system right in this system if i have to live my life i have to give inputs and i have to get outputs so in this system what are my inputs required to lead a happy life first food because that's the basic thing next is for clothes i require salary and then home to live in like and then to have a company i want spouse so these are the four inputs basic inputs required to make my life so health so happy so what are the responses expected happy life i say if it is only one output if i have to say in only one output i will say it is happy life multi objective optimization means then i will say first output is healthy and tasty second output is purchase power third output is comfortable stay fourth output is peace of mind according to the inputs i wrote if all put together only one output it is happy life say for example participants let us have you thinking that you are all global citizens i go ahead right assume you are a global citizen and now choose your choices be wise friends if at all you want to select food out of these four countries chinese american british and indian which food you will choose i will give a pass 
see it is like this not now you should not think of this chinese present situation chinese food chinese food are world famous of course th there exist vegetarian stuff also you could see i have put it over here so any any global citizen will love to have chinese food the next if at all you want to purchase a home which food which home you purchase chinese homes if i ask any global citizen what type of home you want they will say i want british castles because they are castles you could see the british castles how pleasant it will be when you enter so that's the reason a home should be a british castle right next if at all you want salary what salary you prefer to have then indian salary oh my goodness then is it chinese salary ba you just think of chinese salary how their salaries will be very cheap damn cheap labor at china the next indian salary oh god british maybe but what people like to have is american salary they want to just to see that particular benjamin franklin smiling face the dollars an american salary and then next yeah coming to the best part spouse what you will choose a chinese girl or a british diana or american or an indian spouse naturally my heart says everyone will go with an indian spouse so now you just to see gentlemen this is the best combination of a global citizen to lead an output call optimum life optimum life if i say food it is chinese food if i say salary it is american salary if i say home it is british castle and if i say spouse an indian spouse so with all this set of things this is what so if you want to make trial on this you just think of how many janmas it will take for one gen, four to the power of four janmas you want so it is very difficult to conduct more number of experiments which is costly time is more, time is very precious so in a set, set time in a set time i want to conduct my experiment and i want to get the better results for a pleasant peaceful life if it is life if it is engineering i want the best product the best process zero waiting time if you could give and give me the product my customer will be very happy at zero price that's what today people want they are all on running toes see the cost of failure that's what is very important so i want to produce better results i want to make things right but if any anything goes wrong in engineering if anything goes wrong in engineering what happens you could see on screen very simply right all our engineering failures all our engineering failures it's optimized design reduces cost time and life see normally our ancestors used to say or our seniors used to say learn discipline first education comes by on its own the pro the point is if you could inculcate quality right start from the beginning of an engineering product its service will be very nice inculcating quality right start from design stage paper stage itself if you do it then your product service will be very nice otherwise things will be disastrous you have design failure you have production failure you have execution failure at every level you have failures why even though people say i give five year guarantee five 10 years warranty apart from this still it fails why because it is not single thing there are multiple things involved and everything has to be seen right start from the beginning of the design 
from day one we should be alert if you are alert from day one then things will be nice so this is that's the reason why to reduce cost to avoid human life loss to reduce and to increase profit i have to give the product or process in no time i have to conduct these set of reducing for reducing optimization for reducing the time i will go with certain set of things called optimization techniques so i have a humpty number of optimization techniques you might have seen for all these five days if you are with your system and if you if your brain might have synchronized with the speaker then naturally you might have learnt lot many things but this is only the tip of the iceberg if you start flowing you could find lot many things this is and basically taguchi is a very basic technique right very basic and the initial set of technique for optimization so you we have classical optimization differential calculus and we go with single variable optimization multivariable with constraints what we read in our optimization techniques course work and then you go with the numerical methods for lpp integer programming quadratic programming non linear programming you go with a humpty number of uh, techniques so like this you have where you use today's uh, technology and all with the help of computers we could run so many things and you go with genetic algorithms for this i would like to share my professor's example in an exhibition ground a boy is missed or a child is missed if one person start searching for the boy it is single search and if there are so many people start searching you will locate that particular person or else the optimum in a very short span of time this is the way very easy way our teachers taught us what is genetic algorithm it is a local search technique and there are number of statistical techniques available for engineering and scientific studies only thing we should not rely on any software at the first day better learn from book start from book do hand calculation then come to excel sheets then go for software you will be a very strong person in that area and if you try the other way vice versa you will end up in a disaster right so that's what i told four factors at four level it requires four power four janmas so why i am going for this quality for optimization and for optimization in minimum time time because time is money minimum time i go for design of experiments if i say design of experiments one thing is taguchi method and who is found this it is dr jenichi taguchi a japanese and he worked as visiting professor in statistical institute isi kolkata where this you could see the east east relationship right worked for astronomical department of japanese and he was nippon telegraph from there japan he went to us settled there and today his son is looking after his concern right so what is he is the father of you may say he is the father of uh, this method but actually his initiation or else the works fire started at indian statistical institute india to be frank it is from india he absorbed absorbed sent to japan us and start spreading it this oa is was his crux oa is orthogonal array we will be seeing right so there is something to understand conformance to standards specification within limits this is what called as quality all our bookish knowledge but still i will try to help you with a beautiful graph so this is what taguchi's explanation for what is quality and this is what traditional one for taguchi quality fine society incurs a loss any time a product whose performance is not on target get shipped to a customer unconventional way non desired non desirable way of defining 
it's target and consistency this is these two things are very important target and consistency every time my product will say 10 years if i say it will function for 10 years even 9th year 364th day it won't fail then there is no loss to the society if you say i give 5 years of warranty after in 4 years if it fails it is a very big disaster and if it fails on 4 years 8 months it is a loss to the society see we won't think like that but business people mind will be like this this is what the beautiful curve if, if you start understanding this curve then life is very easy actually this is a life curve my professor used to say this is your young happiness in y axis age in x axis as your age increases your happiness start reducing and you come to certain level 40 or 50 and then after crossing 50 you once again go to the level of jnana and you will feel very happy so the same way i see taguchi's loss function curve taguchi's loss function curve see this is what the target point is actually i want to accept the product at this point anything is say for my laptop say for my service say any service sir i one company says zero time you come order and take your curry zero time you come order and take your boxes the if that is zero time and he stick every time the very beautiful example is japanese trains that's what there is a saying japanese quality chinese price japanese quality chinese price then at every time at this particular point yeah you are the king of the market you are the king of the market so i don't want this point i because the way you start moving away from this you could see that diagram what the arrow goes and hits every time you have to hit the bull eye if you come away from that marks gone same happens in business also every time you start doing this sir for one com then assembly there is then you have to go for the advanced version called as gray relational analysis or else for mahal nobi staguchi system who is mahal nobi isi who in who founded isi kolkata right so mahal nobi staguchi system so that's what taguchi has prescribed a standardized way to utilize design of experiments taguchi design of experiments is a standardized form of available experiment design technique introduced by r a fisher in 1920s and later in 1980s toyato is an early adopter of this ideas right sir so what is design of experiments keeping aside all these blah blah blahs you could see an orthogonal array term how i can conduct my experiment say for example that's what i told online quality control offline quality control sees dependence of inspection to achieve quality because taguchi method is just another tool just like finite element analysis you just start building in offline right start don't manufacture a component test it don't manufacture a component and test it you should build quality right start from its design stage at its paper stage if you want to conduct a process better design it in paper first then go to the lab otherwise you will be in trouble so domain knowledge is predominant to use this tool like any tool finite element analysis cfd is a tool and this is a tool but you should know what is finite element analysis to know what is finite element analysis you should know what is strength of materials what is to use cfd you should know what is finite element find a difference method to know find a difference method you should know what what is uh, fluid mechanics all those conservation of momentum conservation of energy conservation of mass and further things so without domain knowledge you can't use this tool that's what tools for robust design taguchi method is a tool it helps you a lot never go and start with mini tab you will be in soup 
don't browse something on internet and attempt it is better you start with one book or else download research papers see that part of several researchers and then learn then it will be interesting right see whatever is i used to review lot of papers based on these kind of optimization techniques then i will find these things lie damn lie statistician lie you know 1 plus 1 is how much if you ask an accountant or else a ca chartered accountant how much you pay for me and how much you want that number to be that's what is statistician lie 1 plus 1 how much you want he will get it so that's what is statistician lie but we know but the experts will easily catch what is what so that's why never try to lie it's a statutory warning you will be caught hence use this tool very nice many organizations have done profits very much with this i have personal experience of conducting experiments for organizations or labs and we could see that their turnover has changed a lot either in our hyderabad or else in chennai many places we are involved in this sort of consultancy right so then that's why i go by all those things so first i go with what are the three perspectives taguchi have robust design concept design parameter design and tolerance design right we will see one by one but slowly this is what the point always you want to hit the target always you want to hit the target right so for that so you make concept design is the process of examining competing technologies to produce a product Con then you design concept design i will go away from that to this to due to time constraints i will go to my exact yeah so if i say factor see factors levels outputs this is what and then what you do some calculations understanding physics is what very important if i say factor it is a parameter it is a variable cos input ingredient constituent whatever i call it as for making tea what are all the input parameters i require i require milk milk is a factor i require heat heat is a factor i require sugar sugar is a factor i require a vessel vessel is a factor so for every factor there will be levels what is that level if i say milk there are different types of milks are there cow milk buffalo milk packeted milk different types of milks if i go for heat i can produce heat in different forms i can go with gas stove i can go with induction heater i can go with uh, normal household ovens different types if i go with sugar i can go with the different types of sugar sugar cubes sugar levels so many things if i take tea powder as a factor n number of tea levels are available so these are all my factors and for every factor i have different types of levels and for ev all this i have to mix and get the best tea out of that then it is my better tea is the taste is the response fragrance smell is the response heat level is the response right so these are all responses and these are factors at different levels right so anywhere you can a tablet making industry can use this set of experiments a microbiology student can use this set of experiments right a chemical engineer can use these set of experiments orthogonal array taguchi technique is beyond engineering beyond mechanical engineering something like that it is a very interesting tool so you you have sometimes discrete factors type of flour atta or maida for cake baking machine brand maruti honda tata so speed pick up you can sometimes go with only a factor having on off high energy level low energy level so you have discrete factors you have quantitative factors you have continuous factors you have qualitative factors 
so these are factors input in these factors also you have two basic types controllable factors uncontrollable factors i say simply temperature see this can be seen as a controllable factor for signal or a signal factor or a significant factor in a same set of experiment if it is a furnace the temperature can be controlled if it is by sun it it is not in our hands the temperature here can be controlled it comes as controllable factor and by, if it is by the sun it is an uncontrollable factor noise factor power cut tire puncture all these are see the very beautiful uncontrollable factor for this situation is seen in the screen covid 19 pandemic it is not in our hands but still it comes into the system it disturbs the system but how far robust we are that is what we have to build a system such that noise factor how much it disturbs the system input controllable factors how much varies suddenly my output response own change then it is a beautiful system you have it is a robust system so we have controllable factors uncontrollable factors you know what is control factor factor in the sense which is an input that controls the output right these are all x forms x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on and in every x1 you have x11 x12 x13 and so on right how to decide on factors so you have to if at all you have to decide the factors you have to go with brainstorming literature survey ishikawa diagram flow charting factors and its levels and then you go for orthogonal arrays right i will answer at the end see in hyderabad now season is very different weather has changed uncontrollable factors like power cut is there so i am just rushing through so that my wifi should not disturb the audience so it is brainstorming ishikawa diagram flow charting factors and its level orthogonal arrays so this is one beautiful you see texture characteristics of the surface of burnished surfaces is the output see how many inputs so this is one factor and all these are its levels this is one factor and all these are its levels so just think of if i have to get a better output how many experiments i have to conduct how much time i have to waste when i will get my output better output so that's the reason i got orthogonal arrays so taguchi orthogonal array design is a type of general it is a factorial method you own trial every met everything you just consider what only partial factorial experiments it's not full factorial experiments it is partial or fractional factorial experiments i called it call it as orthogonal array why orthogonal means it is balanced it is well balanced that's what you should know see these columns are my factors and these are my levels right if i say it is heat heat produced in the gas heat produced in an induction stove right if i say this is my speed of a lathe see here i am talking in degree centigrade if i say this is speed of my machine right maybe 200 rpm 500 rpm here i will talk in terms of rpm here i may talk in terms of something units are different still i will conduct experiments and i will come out with a response which is going to have different unit and at last i should normalize this understanding the intricacies of all these things is what engineering is nothing more than that so now you have meaning of orthogonal is coordinate geometry matrix algebra is different here columns of the orthogonal arrays are balanced each column is balanced in itself it follow a certain order not random order if you see like as an outsider third party you will feel that hey, what is this like that you may think but if you see very with 
with your own engineering eye it is balanced every line column is balanced in itself 1122221 you could see here 12 what is the 3 4 5 6 i have randomly took from an l9 array and then i might have kept it over here you see here 12 12 12 One two. Here also you could see one two one two two one two one. So it has balanced, meaning such that I make I will get an experimental setup such that I won't miss the better response. My inputs are balanced such that my better response is not missed at all with reduced number of experiments. then i call it as orthogonal columns of the orthogonal array are balanced each column is balanced within itself follow certain order not random balanced arrangement with other columns it balances this way and it balances this way horizontal vertical both ways it is balanced in order equal opportunity to influence results equal opportunity to influence result and also the best parameter best result is not missed at any cost that is the extreme beautiful part of orthogonal arrays right you have two inner arrays outer arrays or else you call it as controllable factors uncontrollable factors two level arrays three level arrays four level arrays mixed level arrays in itself it is an ocean so we will normally we will start with this and we will go ahead one by one you could see number of factor is 3 meaning 3 if i say for making a coffee only three factors are more than sufficient based on my knowledge based on my the brainstorming session domain knowledge only i have understood three things are sufficient to make a best coffee one is milk another one is sugar another one is heat then that is the number of factors and in everything heat i have go for two and then for sugar i go with two and then for milk i go with two types and every factor will have two levels then the number of uh, experiments originally you have to conduct is 2 power 3 but with taguchi you can complete with four experiments Two twos are four. Four twos are eight over here. It is half the way with what or the with Taguchi and orthogonal arrays. So you have like this n number of based on your number of factors and number of levels. Sometimes you may fall with what number of factors you have and what number of levels you have. You may not get these particular cases. Then I will go for mixed level arrays. for a beginner we normally do with l8 l9 many set of uh, papers research papers you could see with l9 arrays or l18 arrays l27 arrays people used to conduct but they, they will get better response compared to other methods so this is how i write so i have these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 right these are my trials and what is this seven factors i have this is seven factor and every or else you write like this a b c d e f g and a indicates one factor b indicates another factor c indicates another so like that it goes on what is you could see here only one two a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 that's how we could write seven factors at two levels so if at all you require what are the total number of trials you require if you don't adopt taguchi method two par seven number of experiments you have to conduct but by this method by the balanced strategy proposed by jenuchi taguchi you could complete l8 sir you conduct this and come out with a response taguchi will conduct this set of experiments and come out with a response this better response and this better response will match but you have spent more time more money and you got the same output 
This gentleman has conducted only eight trials and he has come with the best, better response, same like you. That is the advantage of this method. So you can go with 11 factors, two levels, number of trials. And you should not conduct first trial one means experiment one. You should not conduct experiment like this. This is what you will make first A1, B1, C1, D1. You should not do like that. Instead, you should, you have to conduct nine trials you want to conduct. Take nine pieces of paper, write trial one, trial two, trial three to trial nine, throw it, close it, throw it in on the, in any one bottle and take one randomly, conduct that experiment. That's very important for this Taguchi method, right? Many people I have seen, they used to follow the same sequence and conduct trials. No, it's wrong. You, you should go with what? Randomly you should pick. You should call your uh, friend or anyone to pick for conducting that trial. So that why? Because this is the computer or else the machine or the system will get adapted to this and may lead to erroneous results in the sense you there is a chance of missing the very best result. That's the reason we go with randomized conduction of all these trials. So you have so many number of actually conduct of experiments should be random. This is one important thing. If once you have conducted your experiments, if once you have conducted your experiments, you, are, you will be creating outputs. Say, for example, if, if, if it is on a lathe, you say speed, feed, depth of cut. Very common paper you can see is changing speed, feed, depth of cut. Okay? Because windows might be different, papers are getting published. So you have response. What is that response? Maybe surface roughness is one response. Surface roughness is one response. If this is one response, if you conduct that experiment only one time and create one time, you can't do ANOVA. Many of the papers I review used to do, they have only one response, but they might have conducted ANOVA. Then you will be in soup. The point is, you should make replications, conduct the experiment two times or three times and get what? At least two replications then the data generated will be very much authentic. Here people may ask, sir, if I make replications, then it is equal to full factorial experiments. No, there is a lot of difference between creating replications and full factorial experiments, right? Hence, go with the minimum two replication. See, if it is costly, don't do. If it is not that much cost, then that's why brainstorming and the group of set of people will take a decision on this replication. But with the replication, if you generate the data, you are damn near to the output. Right. So then if I say output, yeah, if I say output, rep response, I have response, I have replications. Response is output and then replication is number of output. So what quality characteristics I have to follow? Results will be in quantitative terms. See, you should understand quantitative terms with the different units you have. The result will be in different unit. Input will be in different unit. And I'm talking about one single quality characteristic. If you want diff many outputs at a time, yes, experiment you have conducted so that you have responses, you have replications, you can do, but multi-objective multi-objective optimization is a different approach. Whereas here, it is better you go with single objective optimization. Right here, also we have OEC overall evaluation criteria. But still, it is better if you have one objective. Then this will be a very wonderful tool. Right. So what quality characteristic I want? See, if my output is salary, then I will say bigger the better is good. If I say strength of the concrete in compression, then I will say bigger the better. If I say strength of the signal in electronics, then I will say bigger the better. If I say smaller in real life expenses, I should say smaller the better. In electronics, noise should be less. Noise, disturbance should be less. 
programming errors should be less than simulation or else in programming in developing so this is smaller the better will be my quality characteristic and nominal the better uh, either i don't want a high bp or i don't want a low bp instead i want bp that's it i i want to be in normal if at all size told i stole 120 80 apt or else try to reduce till 90 110 roundness in mechanical engineering you want to measure the roundness you want nominal the better voltage in electrical engineering you want 220 means 220 you don't want better low or you don't want better high so that's the reason this is how we do define quality characteristic after defining quality characteristic no you don't have any cup of coffee and all now you have to drink uh, right so this is what uh, analysis so then part one. so now you have generated data you have conduct you have designed you have brainstormed you have thought of so much and then listed your input factors and for every factor you have taken levels and after taking levels you have come to orthogonal array you have conducted experiments after conducting experiments you have taken response and if necessary you have taken replications and now it is time to analyze so you have generated data that's what so called results and now you don't have replications you have to go with average if you have replications you can go by standard deviations or else you can go with what uh, s by n and anovas all this will help you that's what it produces yeah i'm running out of time but still i will try to complete fast it produces grand average of results simple arithmetic calculation that helps to observe and conclude so you could find out who is influencing my output which input parameter whether milk is affecting the taste of coffee or heat is affecting the taste of coffee or else sugar is affecting the taste of coffee coffee or up to what extent uh, if at all it is a machining problem whether speed whether depth of cut or whether the tool geometry which is affecting more and at what percentage can also be learnt any engineering experiment sets that's what i say microbiology student if he wants to, or else a pharmaceutical student if he wants to make a tablet he can test with all chemicals with this best and he could see which ingredient is going to influence more at what percent can also be read with this so very powerful tool if used properly particularly industries we ourselves our team has solved several industrial problems with this tool provided the tool should be used correctly otherwise we can show colorful pictures and get claps that's the nothing more than that next is anova analysis of variance so this is what we used to do relative influence of factor and interaction to variation of result all this or english text we can see and sometimes error factor see stories or there in one hour i can't put all every into your brain but still i will try to get some good output to you set of students so you see eight factors three levels what is this so what are all the computational steps these kind of things may not be available in net only we have made on our own so that we can understand to understand the physical significance you should know every step with clarity what i am doing what is degrees of freedom in a process experimental trial why i am squaring what is na1 every word has to be understood in physical significance that is more important without understanding the physical significance and if we write only numbers it it won't gives any output dear participant so that's why so you could see this english or different but why i am doing this sa by fa what is an error term what is f ratio and how i could solve all these things then it is real engineering right so what is pooling pooling is a common practice of revising or reestimating anova results say for example one particular parameter gives less than 5% contribution to that particular output 
output in output response it is contributing only less than 5% 5% so then i can remove that and redistribute redistribute see some universities what they will do after the completion of engineering if a student has only two subjects left over they will take marks from others and put it to this make him pass and then send him out of the university with colors so the, the same category in other way if we do it's called as pooling you take out this 5 percentage distribution which is in the statistics and distribute it to the other factors is what called as pooling right so that how i will do all those things you can see so you have confidence interval in which level you want see my confidence interval is always i want to hit the target 100% i want every time i want to be reliable sometimes we used to say you no know, you go to that particular person for sure you will get it that is reliability so every time i conduct the experiment i should get the same results if i vary if the result is varying then i will i am my, the society loss is increasing or else i am convincing myself or else i am convincing myself so s by n ratio is another uh, signal to noise ratio that measures the insensitivity of quality characteristics being investigated how much the response is insensitive that is also to be signal should be more noise should be less so this could be this you can see on your own like that so that's what i have at the end of the day overall evaluation criteria see normally i say results are to be normalized without this also so many papers will be coming see a study with more than one objective meaning multi objective optimization performances of samples tested from each trial condition are evaluated by multiple evaluate criteria of evaluation see the results of the samples has to be normalized one output will be in newton other output will be in centimeter other output will be in meter cube and other output may be discrete zero or one so then how to that's how very important you, you have method steps to do these all these things in overall evaluation criteria you have this is a very normal thing i used to say on a lighter note a age you want uh, a spouse your a age b beauty c characteristic d dowry e education and if you expect all to be on top you will be fooled so that's why somewhere else you have to have a compromise and that compromise is what overall evaluation criteria so we have done so many case studies or there sir so i will just go into the this is a live one at bharat dynamics limited right which we have done so we have uh, some fins on uh, this fin right i don't want to show for because okay so this fin has to be tested for its steering strength this fin has to be tested for its steering strength and you have the material details you have the material details and all its properties and then you go for making this plastic fin and then because it is online overall i have to be very certain so i have these are all my factors these are all my factors and my response is steering strength and this is my process and this is my process or l system so i have a b c d and in this i have levels a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 d1 d2 d3 but i have only one y1 right that is my steering strength so i choose like this levels and then i how many experiments you require you see a full factorial experiment requires 81 experimental trial runs but simply with nine runs nine trial runs i can complete simply with nine trial runs i can complete yeah i can understand we are running out of time and then i use this qualitech software which is uh, being given by the producer new tech you can also apply he will give you free of cost so this is what your injection molding machine and then you we test it you generate data for all these nine experiments and then you start analyzing with that you could see here 
what are my input process parameters what are my trial conditions i made three replications and then calculated the average and then i did s by n ratios all those things at last i will end up like this with a3 meaning what is this a3 that's important you just go back you could see a3 the levels when you select a3 will give you what that set of combination is what the idea behind taguchi's a3 meaning injection pressure at third level the physical value is 1200 bar b1 meaning level 1 melt temperature i call it as b 280 degree centigrade c1 and d2 this combination so now i have to create components with this comp that is confirmation test i have to create three to four components with this combination and then test it and then find out that what it gives this is how it gives good results or not this is why optimum this is what i have did it i have conducted test and i have found out what is the maximum strength so hereafter i can assure that if you say conduct with 280 degree centigrade yes here you can see 280 degree centigrade 1200 bar 120 degree centigrade 40 rpm you will get what this particular strength this strength anywhere in this world you go and conduct this experiment at this level if you get 322 or 323 then my design is robust design that's what is confirmation test yeah we confirm it and we test it we will get 322 degree centigrade and that's how you test it all those things these are my and then you can go with humpty number of uh, experiments exercises like this i have conducted for some of the friction steel welded test pieces and then we could find out this is with the first one is with hand calculation i want to show and the second one is with qualitech four you can use qualitech it is and this is confirmation test you can see see through calculation it has given 342 and in experiment it has given 310 that's what i say you could predict very near you could predict very near not always the right one right so you can same way you could see the computer giving what are all the levels if i say level 3 it is one component one tool traverse speed tool rotational speed so like that and what are all its levels you could physical values and if you make you will get the same set of confirmation test and then you could do it so next is this i don't want to go right single output single input you can go with taguchi method otherwise it will be what so these are some of the application that's what i want to say you have you can use this in even tablet making industry this taguchi method right this is one more set of experiments you could see with the help of taguchi and then these are some of your references and then i thank dedicate this entire lecture to my two gurus the press rajesham who initiated uh, taguchi in me and my professor dr m manzur hussain both who i dedicate this entire lecture to my gurus and i acknowledge my students so many number of ug students pg students and my phd students have worked for what i have presented i acknowledge them duly thank you for your patience listening thank you sir very nice presentation i am ready to take queries if required yes sir we have few questions from participants yes sir i will read one by one sir yes sir. Uh, what is the basic difference between full factorial and half factorial design yes sir very very see that's what i say you want to make coffee very so that live example you can understand very easily coffee you say only three or four parameters factors say for example four factors one is heat another one is milk another one is sugar another one is vessel this is four factors and if i take levels i can get n number for one 
say vessel copper vessel steel vessel mud vessel these are all factor levels so then factors levels if you start conducting experiments you get thousands of experiments that is full factorial experiments this taguchi's orthogonal array is partial factorial or else half factorial experiments where you will make a combination perfect balance so that you own miss the best response the reducing the number of experiments such that you won't miss the best response that is what called as partial factorial experiments another one what is the difference between takuchi and the response surface method sir response surface methodology is based on surface see that's what i told if you have seen in one of my slide you have this is not this is not statistics based on what uh, columns and uh, horizontal lines we could do it it is purely a very initial method for designing of experiments anywhere you see it is taguchi method based design of experiments the first half people normally used to get confused with the first half and second half first half is taguchi method second half you can use anova you can use average you can use response surface anything so this is for analysis second half you go or else you take a cube you fix every corner of the cube if you take only discrete set plus 1 minus 1 0 then response surface methodology will hold good because if you take a cube you have corners of the cube you have corners of the cube one corner you say plus 1 and its vertical down you say minus 1 and the middle you say 0 right okay fine very good such kind of discrete values you can go for response surface for framing experiments if not if it is continuous if the input factor is continuously changing what you will do so then taguchi gives has its own advantage yes. so response uh, surface uh, there are certain uh, limitations next is it uh, if we do random trials how to take optimized parameter a single response random trials random trials sir you have l9 experiment l9 array means you have nine trials one you take a piece of paper write one another piece of paper write two three write you fold it and throw it you take one conduct the experiment note your results then you take second another lot conduct experiment write results then you post all these random results in the perfect 1 2 3 manner and start analyzing there is nothing to do with this random conduction and optimization results this particular random conduction is machine should not get adapted because first you give 2 200 rpm then you increase 300 rpm then you increase 400 rpm response will what the output response created on the layers of the work piece will be what different i mean it is in a sequence pattern we don't want that for that reason people will conduct in random way next is it sir last question uh, importance or significance of s by n ratio it is signal to noise ratio we want to increase those controllable factors influence and reduce the non meaning i want a robust design meaning whatever variation takes in input output should not vary that's what you are trying to prove with s by n results you have to understand the physical significance of s by n results don't read ratio as signal by noise see some theory uh, what do you call like uh, case studies and understand the physical significance of s by n then you can understand next is sir okay sir thank you sir uh, these are all the question we received from thank participants you. now i will hand over the session to professor k chandrasekhar sir regarding the feedback thank you thank you
Sir, Chandrasekhar, sir, we are not able to hear you. Hello? It's a voice break. Hello? Uh, yeah, please go ahead, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Dr. Kandu Swami, sir, very thank you, sir. You have given a clarity of explanation. So you have correlated a happy family with this analysis. Thank you very much. So before concluding remarks by our HOD, Professor Leela Pasad, I request some of the participants can give the feedback uh, because of this, this is the last session. I request uh, you can unmute yourself and... Uh, I... Hello, sir. Uh, this is uh, audible. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Please, please, uh, audible, audible. please, please, uh, my go, name please go ahead, sir. My name is Sven Gopal Rao from CMR Institute of Technology, uh, Associate Professor from Mechanical Engineering Department. Uh, sir, this uh, one week uh, FDP on operational techniques is wonderful, sir. Uh, really, we learn many things. And in this regard, I want to say thanks to, first of all, the management of uh, Vigyan Institute of Technology Science and uh, HOD uh, Leela Prasad Garu and uh, coordinators uh, Chandrasekhar and uh, Singerville, sir. Really wonderful uh, FDP, sir. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Hello. Okay, Hello. Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Ah, Uday, sir. Uday Kumar. Hello, sir. Please, good afternoon. Sir. Hello, sir. This is Dr. Uday Kumar. Good afternoon to all, especially for Kandaswami. He is there, Dr. Kandaswami. Hello. Kandaswami, sir. Hello. Yeah, I am Kandasam, there, sir. sir. I am here. Ah, I am, I am yes. Udaykumar, sir, MGAT. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, you are given a nice session. I want to ask one question, sir. Yes, sir. So, till now, everybody using the ANAVA software, etc. for the Taguchi methods. Yes, sir. Tool is, uh, till now, that is only one tool or any dominated tool is upcoming for ANAVA? No. As of now, people are using ANAVA only, sir. It has been an established tool. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. what people are being, as of now, people are using ANOVA, sir. Yeah, yeah. Even industries are following. Even industries are following. Ah, uh, sir. This is my so knowledge. The question is very nice, sir. If you give a time for you, you can give, you, you, you have to, you can talk 24 hours. <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And also regarding this feedback of this FDP, so this is a... Title is Optimization Techniques for the Mechanical Engineering. So you are given mechanical engineers, you are given the full title for given full fledged hundred percent should be used for the mechanical engineering or and other the engineering electrical, etc. So in these sessions, I attend all these sessions, start from 27th to today, 29th, 27th to today. So it is covered in all the areas, especially for the manufacturing and the heat transfer and thermal related areas. So today also very nice session, okay? And I and, uh, also benefited for all the faculties, okay, and the research scholars, especially for the research scholars, okay? So the, for the, the, those who are pursuing the PhDs. Okay, this is my few sharing of views in this FDP. Thank you very much for giving a small opportunity for share of my views. And also congratulate Dr. Chandrasekhar and team. They are conducting this series of FDPs. Hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, ah, you, yeah. sir. Thank you, Udek, sir. Thank you, sir. Connecting the series of the uh, FDPs. <laughs> yes, yes, so, it is very you, nice. You, you are also connecting. Your, your college also connecting series ah, of yeah. webinar. One, ah, one more yeah, question, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are also connecting. <laughs> I think same optimization techniques are going to start from next week. Ah, ah yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah. OT for the, yeah. Uh, the OT for the, uh, the yes, for yes, the, yes. that is the scholars research scope etc. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable feedback, sir. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Tell me, sir. Dr. Arun from St. Louis Engineering College. Yes, sir. Please, sir. So regarding the feedback about this uh, one week's uh, FDP program, sir. So it's sir. very nice, very useful for the uh, doing researchers. And particularly, we come to say that uh, yesterday, given the Dr. Kaushik, given the topic regarding that software, uh, you know, that is very, very yes, nice yes. presentation. Yes, sir. And uh, today's Dr. Kandasamy given a uh, very good lecture. And uh, some of the topics which is covered in the uh, Dr. Pandisalam and Thirumalai, Dr. Thirumalai. 
as a module for the present doing researcher that will be very useful for the present doing researchers and uh, i enjoy the session full all uh, day one to till today it's very nice sir. i am uh, very much congratulations to all the organizers and ignorant uh, management and all the person who included in the arrangement of this uh, dp sir Thank you very much. Thank you thank for you. arranging this for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you, Dr. Arun, sir. Thank you, sir. Fine, sir. Any other uh, participants who would like to give feedback? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, myself, Nagraj Anand Sher, sir, from the VNR VJIT, Department of Automobile Engineering. Yeah, I really enjoyed this webinar, all the sessions, sir, and thanks a lot to the, all the organizations and the part, sir, and the speakers. Yeah, it was a little bit okay. long, but it was very informative and the engaging the sessions, sir. And also for the today's session was really excellent, sir. Each and every point you are telling from the uh, normal, from the nature, whatever the things we require for the day-to-day -day lives to the to the scientific approaches. It's an excellent webinar, sir. I have learned so much from it, and definitely he will back to from uh, more, sir. And thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Sir. Any other participants? Uh, good afternoon, sir. I am uh, Arvind from uh, Sri Hindu College. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the organizers uh, of uh, Vignan uh, College for conducting uh, a very nice uh, FDP on optimization techniques. So earlier, uh, I, have, I, I don't have any idea of uh, what is this, uh, what do you mean by this optimization techniques? I have, by this FTP, I have learned a lot. And uh, thank you very much, sir. And particularly this particular session of uh, Kanda Swami, sir, has been uh, a nice uh, and uh, informative session. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Arvind, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Any other participants? Now, I request uh, our HOD, Professor Nila Prasad, uh, to conclude my uh, request to give concluding remarks. Nila Prasad, sir? The, sir, good afternoon, sir. Uh, please, please, sir. Please proceed, sir. Please. Good afternoon, sir. Are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Please, please sir. Please proceed, sir. Sir, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Kandaswami is present. Yeah, I am very much there, Dr. Leela Prasad. Uh, sir, uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, very much good afternoon. Uh, sir, uh, this is not your first contribution to us. Probably nine years back, you gave us a session during an FDP on engineering mechanics, sir. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, exactly. Do, do you remember, remember that, sir? Why not? I, I very much, very much, very much. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, as usual, your sessions are always uh, excellent. And today's session on uh, Taguchi also is uh, so very good, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, th thank you. Thank you so much for one more contribution to Mechanical Engineering Department at Vignan Institute of Technology and Science. Uh, thank always, you so much, sir. We would like to be associated for academic assignments. Always. Yes. Thank you. You are always welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, as a HOD, I want to make a few concluding remarks. All the resource persons gave interesting presentations during last one week, starting with Dr. Shivashankar, Dr. Tirumulai, Dr. Panir Selvam, Dr. Peturaj, Dr. Venkatrao Garu, Dr. Kaushik Kumar, Dr. Ratnaraju, sir, and Dr. Kandaswami, sir and sustained the interest of participants to a great extent. That is most important, sir. Uh, network problems and dis uh, disruption due to power cuts, either it from our side or from resource person side are common during these online programs. So I admit that we have faced such issues during this FDP. But I have to thank all the participants for great understanding. And 
one more thing the main person behind this entire fdp is our faculty dr singarvel sir and all our faculty helped him in conducting this fdp in a better manner and i have to mention few names who helped dr singarvel sir in conducting this fdp are uh, dr k chandrashekar sir dr devprasad sir professor n venkateshwar lu sir anup sir sadanandam sir and mr rahul dtp operator all of them did a great job and made this fdp a great success i have received a repeated question from some of the participants that are you planning any other fdp in the near future we are not planning any other fdp and what we are planning is only four webinars during next 10 days two by our star faculty dr k chandrashekar sir and dr dev prasad sir and one by dr suresh akhilla sir principal shreyas engineering college on mobile air conditioner and one more by an indian origin professor working in saudi arabia with that we want to conclude all our activity and focus on the upcoming academic session and international conference activities i request all the participants to support us again by contributing their valuable research outputs in the form of technical papers to icrame 2020 scheduled on 10th and 11th of december 2020 thanks once again to all the participants continued patronage and mark and mark international conference on research and advances in mechanical engineering short form icrame 2020 in your diary please thank you all wish you a great weekend and an advanced happy friendship day all the best thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank, thank you. you thank you sir Sir, you want Thank to you, add sir. something, Singar Bell, sir? Sir, everything Any covered, sir. Any instructions to uh, participants? Everything covered, sir. Okay, um, sir. Regarding certificates, we make announcements, sir. Okay, okay sir. We will Please, give sir. overall feedback form by WhatsApp as well as email to registered candidates. After that, within two working days, you will receive certificates. If not, sir, received on Wednesday, you can give message. before wednesday all the participants will receive your certificates but but Thank feedback you, form will compulsory all the participants are requested to fill the feedback form overall feedback form then ah, it yes, is yes. going to use for uh, generating certificates thank you sir thank you once again to all for support thank you thank you sir dr kandaswamy thank. sir thank you thank you very much good luck right sir thanks. Thanks. okay sir. thanks to all and uh, ha uh, sir we will conclude it sir. here sir we will conclude it here okay uday sir please hello ah, uh, anup sir please close the session okay okay sir